Okay, what'd you get me, sweetheart? Uh, one ski trip to Vail, but leaving tomorrow? All right, I guess I'll move around my schedule and not watch the game with my buddies and deal with your whining. You get gold in July and teach the kids how to ski. What are you thinking? I didn't want this. Okay, what can it be? What can it be? Oh, oh wow, it's a it's a grill. No, I did tell, I told you I wanted a grill. I didn't know it was gonna be kind of griddle style. $1,200, so you know, conversation beforehand would have been nice, I guess, but no, this will be great for pancakes. This is from the sister-in-law. What do we have here? Okay, what? Hey, remember when you yelled at me for not using your wedding registry? Stick to my Christmas list. What the heck is this? I don't want this crap. My gift is out here. What could it possibly? That car is for me with the bow on it? What in the, the, the happy Honda day sales event? Okay, interesting. So I know you don't have the credit score for that. So did you forge my signature? And how much is the, the sales tax on that gonna be? Oh, oh, you leased it. Oh, good. that's always a good investment. Good, glad we talked about this, good. Good, Merry Christmas. You better stick to my Christmas list. It's tacky to veer off the wedding registry. You better stick to my Christmas list. Yeah, now, Christmas is not the time to be calling audibles, mm -mm. right? Yeah, I don't need um, whatever random gift you're trying to give me. I need the the five things asked for, which is a vacuum, <laughs> Call of Duty, and thicker oven mitt. Thicker oven mitt. <laughs> Last one, ow. <laughs> yeah, what do you want for Christmas? Um, I would like a golf bag because Alan freaking broke mine. I have to lay it down flat on the Don't ground like a out. peasant. Yeah, that's embarrassing. You should. I bought. I got a nice white. The Nike store in Portland. I got a white yes. one because that was. It was on sale. And it was there. It would probably look terrible within three and rounds of golf. Portland and Portland. You, you got to buy the white things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> felt right. Um, we're back. What feels like a while ago, but it's every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it feels like a while to us. And uh, thanks for listening again, Recties. Love meeting you all on the road. Love when kind white 23 year old girls will go, by the way, I'm a Recti. Yeah. Like it's a normal thing to say. I look forward to meeting more of you literally on a road because that is happening every now and then. Nice. I'd like to meet more of you on the road. Recties. <laughs> we got another episode for y'all, of course. Thanks for coming on back. And before we get into it, please enjoy a few words from our friends. Jake, what do you love most about Liquid IV? Probably how fast it hydrates me, Trey. What Ooh, about you? Uh, I like the great taste. Mm. Makes me feel great. Mm. You know, they've, all, they've also donated over 11 million sticks to people around the world. Whoa. Yeah. Almost 12 million. Yeah. Um, this Liquid IV, it hydrates you more efficiently than water alone. Put a little uh, stick of Liquid IV in 16 ounces of water. Whoa. Boom. Fun treat. Locale. Feels good. Uh, we, you got to stay hydrated. It keeps you healthy. Get your rest, get your hydration. Contains five essential vitamins. More vitamin C than an orange. No way. Who doesn't love Liquid IV? I sure do. So will you. So we have an offer for y'all. Grab your favorite Liquid IV flavors nationwide at Walmart, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code TREY at checkout. That's 25% off anything when you order uh, using my code TREY at liquidiv.com. Use the promo code TREY. Remember when I sat on your sunglasses and broke them? I forgot about that. Mm, yeah. Sorry. I'm actually still very angry about that. Now well, that you bring it up. Sorry. Uh, how but, could you ever make it up to me? Um, how about a brand new pair of Warby Parker sunglasses? <gasps> really? Starting at $95. Wow. And they have prescription lenses. Um, people, Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores. Uh, I, I've always I've worn Warby Parker for years, so I was pumped for that they were a, a friend of the show now. Yeah. And uh, a special thing they do is this uh, free try-on program where you order five pairs of glasses to try on at home for free for five days. You don't have to buy them. You they ship free and include a prepaid return shipping label. Y'all can do that too. How easy is that? Do it. It's a game changer. I love Warby Parker. So does Jake. So are y'all. So try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash tray. That's warbyparker.com slash tray. How many CEOs do you think have gotten rich from a free trial that you forgot to cancel? At least six. Did you name one? Yes. Uh, someone named William, probably. <laughs> That's true, Bill. Yeah. Forget him. Get true, Bill. <laughs> So you can cancel those subscriptions you don't want anymore. Truebill is the new app that it's the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need want or that you forgot about. I think we've all experienced that. You sign up for this, you sign up for that, you forget, and you're getting charged. And you're like, oops, what happened to you? Oh, all the time. I need it. I mm -hmm. need somebody to come in and get rid of this for me. Yeah. Like a uh, customer Matthew B once said, in a matter of seconds, I save six hundred and sixty dollars for the year on my direct TV bill. That's over six hundred dollars. That's significant. 
Okay? So be like Matthew. Be like us. Get Truebill. It's, I found out I had some I shouldn't be paying for. It saved me money. Uh, it, it works that simply. You're going to love it. Um, because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel. For, so screw them. Uh, don't <laughs> don't fall for those subscription scams. Start canceling today at Truebill.com slash Trey. Go right now. Truebill.com slash Trey. Uh, it could save you thousands a year. Truebill.com slash Trey. Uh, Jake, what, what in the world type of gifts do you give to little kids these days? Oh, I tell you, it's hard. I want to get them the best gift, but I don't know where to start. More Fortnite? No. They no, have enough of that. No, it's time to move on. I don't like buying little kids skins. That seems weird. <laughs> I want to find something from a wide range. From pre-K to high school, you know? Well, I got something for you. Oh Out God. school. Oh Let's my. give them the lifetime gift of learning. Out school <laughs> is a fantastic resource for pre K to high school kids, they have classes to teach them all sorts of stuff, and they're super affordable. Um, I mean, they have video game design, creative writing, the list goes on. Um, they, I, I checked out Out School. They hooked it up with a gift card. Very impressed by it. So many things to offer for your kids to learn new things. So we want to offer for y'all. If you've got a child, I know I've got a little kid cousin. This is what I'm getting them. I'm giving them a gift that lasts a lifetime, and you can too. To learn more all about OutSchool and what it has to offer and how to save $15 off your child's first class, go to OutSchool.com slash Trey. That's O-U-T-S-C-H-O-O-L dot com slash Trey. Get $50 off your child's first class. OutSchool.com slash Trey. Correct opinion. Correct opinion. Um, we're back. We we're bought, back. Uh, yeah, you bought a brand new white golf bag. I bought this brand new, very white hoodie. Yeah, how long do you think that'll last? I kind of, I love white tees, but I gave up on them. What, Eddie, what about white hoodies? I haven't even tried that. that this seems feels terrifying. nice. It looks clean, man. But you, you sit down. You like spaghetti still? Yeah. Don't wear it eating spaghetti. <laughs> okay. It'll, I've learned so many new things from Katie. Like I'll, I'll. She knows. Is there like a female class we didn't get offered where they're like, here are all of the. Here's a list of all the things in the world and if they stain or not. <laughs> I'll like go a little mustard on a shirt. Be like, no worries. She's like, mm, no, no, that'll stay. That's hard to get out. Like, How do you know that? <laughs> you, I've never even eat, seen you eat mustard. I know you're not getting mustard on your. I've never seen you get stuff on your shirt. I get stuff on my shirt every other day. How yeah, do you know? How, how you're an expert at this thing that you're not experienced in? I, is there like a brochure I need or something? There's like I'll, it's, I'll get class like oil on my shirt. She's like, oh, might as well throw it away. Oil. But the other thing, she's like, oh, you should be fine. Should be fine. Really? Ketchup? Mm, no, that's actually, that's actually good for the shirt, almost. <laughs> what? Really? I'll tell you who hates white things. Maybe Katie and him have been talking. Tour manager Tom, he's made several comments to me about my white backpack. He's like, man, I just don't know why you got white. <laughs> and then you come on the bus with a white golf bag. He's like, I don't know why Trey got, Trey got a white golf bag. What are these guys bag. doing? I was like, I think it looks nice. I don't know. Let's just get a, I, for I, Christmas, <laughs> let's get him just like a white jeans. Or something. You look good in these, man. Merry oh, Christmas. he would hate it. I purposely those away from me. didn't show him this hoodie. I was like, I don't even want to hear what he has to say about yeah. the hoodie. Oh, he's going to hate it. He's gonna I notice as we get deeper into the winter and you get paler, he's like kind of avoiding you. <laughs> like, I don't know why guy. they made a skin that way. Yeah, I don't, I mean, <laughs> figure this out. It's going to get dirty. Get this kid away from me. <laughs> that's going to that's gonna show all sorts of dirt. Yeah. Going to tan that up. It's going to be hard to keep clean. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Good luck. You want some makeup before you go out? That's funny. No? I haven't noticed he's done that. Really? He's he, roasting your bag. He's made a comment about my bag. <laughs> stupid white bag. Like again. once a week that we're out on the road. Still still rocking that white bag, huh? Yeah. It's like, I don't yeah. get a new backpack every week. <laughs> still. Still. Which um, maybe potential conspiracy. I get back at the end of the Portland show. I've been saying hi to a bunch of fans. Of course, I get kicked out of the venue, I think, because they didn't know I performed. I'm like, guys, we got to We got to get out of here. We got to move. I was like, All right. Whatever. Yeah. It's a nice night in Portland. I'll just go talk to him outside. I go back to go to the green room, and all my stuff has just been thrown out onto the street. Get him out of here. Tom told me it was the venue. He's, yeah, Tom's Maybe just stomping on the white backpack. <laughs> He's like, this will teach him. Yeah. <laughs> this is why you can't have white things, because what if it gets thrown out on the street and it gets ran over? Mm -hmm. Black backpack, you'd be just fine. It wouldn't be. It'd be just fine. <laughs> I I love uh, like the venue and how they don't know who we are, and it's, you know, it's like... the my name's on the sign and stuff. And I go in, I've had such a wide range of like responses. The guy working there will be like, whoa, 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 where, where do you think you're going? Who, Easy you know, buddy. You part of the show. And I'm just like, yeah. He's like, what, who are you? And I'm like, I'm, I'm Trey Kennedy. I'm doing the show tonight. And I think I remember Kansas city the guy goes, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I was like, okay. I wasn't saying it to like Brad. I was, you asked me my name. This is and who... why I was here. My name is Trey Kennedy, 
and it is the Trey Kennedy show. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. It sounds bad, but it's like this just seems like objectively that's who I, I am. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Yeah. I don't know who you are, man. Oh, but then in, I'm sorry, but then Riverside. Yeah, Riverside. The guy kind of. So now I'm like scarred because I <laughs> what, what what another one uh, there that was like. They're asking, they're stopping me, like, you're not allowed in here, right next to a big poster of, like, my face. Oh, yeah. Like, and Katie that's even me. was like, I th well, I mean, that's his face. And the guy was like, all right. <laughs> and then Riverside was like, he's like, check in. I was like, my name is uh, Tr uh, Trey Kennedy. I could show you ID. I show you ID. He's like, hey, looks, he's like, where's your name on the list? He's like, one of the names. And he goes to the top where my name's big and bold. He's like, oh, uh, dude, you're the. This is your this show. Your show. What are you even talking to me for? <laughs> get get back get in there, man. I'm like I can't do anything right. I don't know what you people think I don't, of me. What am I supposed to say? It makes me so uncomfortable. I don't know what to do. Uh, that was funny because I I was given a wristband. I was not in bold, and so mm. I think I was given. I had to get some sort of access yeah. pass or whatever. But you were just like yelled at. Yeah, dude. Why are you even talking to me? Why are you even talking? Go to me, perform. Bro? Go in there, man. He was like laughing. He's like, <laughs> I've never I've never seen a headliner this soft. <laughs> do you mind Whack. if I maybe attend the uh, my own show, <laughs> sir? I don't offend anyone. It is kind of a wide range. I remember in Houston, I was trying to just like. I don't even know what I was trying to do. I was trying to go somewhere in the venue, and it's like 4 p.m. Security's already there. Sweet old man. Uh, clearly loves his job because he shows up three hours early. Yep. And he's just like, uh, I need to see your badge. Like, I don't even... Uh, a badge? badge. <laughs> I'm, not on, I'm not a policeman. I, I'm off duty. Off duty uh, today. So I don't know. And I was like... I like I'm just trying to get to the like the dressing room or something. It's like need to see some sort of badge. Let me know that you're allowed back there. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, okay, I don't I don't even think a badge is in the realm of things I was offered to get. But yeah. I have Trey's phone number. I have here's a picture of me with him. Yeah, he texted watch, me like 30 minutes ago. I'm in this video. Actually, watch. It's one of our better videos. Actually, if you I think like you'd to. like it. If if uh, explaining 2020 to a coma patient, you get it right. Yeah, how that would be a funny premise. Uh -huh. Do you have Do you know anyone in a coma? It's funny. <laughs> Oh, a lot of your friends are in a permanent coma. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that, Earl. Yeah. Um, well, oh, Still I need to turn it badge. up. You can't hear it? Okay. <laughs> I know. The cap. The auto captions aren't the most It's about 80% accurate, accurate. Yeah. <laughs> you get the gist. So I just get, I just tail between my legs like, I'll just go to the dressing room later, I guess, when Earl's not here. <laughs> like, well, where's Jake? He's almost on stage. Like, he, they won't let him in the venue. <laughs> we don't know what to do. We're going to Skype him in. We're going to... Onto the screen. <laughs> Yeah, so it's fun. It's humbling. It's good. Mm -hmm. You can't get too big of a head when you're not allowed into the dressing room. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I don't have my oh, badge. That's nice. It is a it's a nice gut check when it says your name and sold out show, and they're like, <laughs> I don't know who the heck you are. <laughs> like you work here. Surely you glanced at who was coming. Oh uh, yeah, good times. I remember in Denver, I went out to get my DoorDash thing or whatever, and the guy's like, Who are you, who are you with? You know, it's like 3.30. This is like so far ahead of anything. Yeah. I was like, uh, I'm, no one's ever asked me that. I'm with the show. The Lord. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Christians across the country and um, the world. I don't know. It is that time of year. Whom I'm with. Tis the season. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I'm with the, I, I'm, I'm with the show. I'm one of the, I'm one of the guys. Oh, I mean, right now I'm just, I'm, I'm a customer of DoorDash. I don't know. <laughs> what are you asking, actually? Uh, <laughs> he's like, you use Postmates sometimes, don't you? I know you. Yeah, you go cross-platform. I know you do. You're not loyal. Yeah. You don't know. And then we finally like, covered who I was. I was like, who are, you, who are you with? And he said, I'm the general manager of food and beverage. And I said, oh. In America? <laughs> well, yeah, what's, what's the you geography here? Gamble or? Yeah, how big? How big's your region? Um, yeah. I run the Department of Food in the government of the United States. I'm the VP of food. We we took an Uber. Where the guy just oh man! I remember I was pumped initially. I was like, "Oh, dude, this our my Uber X is a Porsche." I don't know why, but <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, and we were like, we had to get in several Ubers because there was too many of us. So I was like, me and Katie went in the Porsche. I was like, "Take that, suckers! Get in your uh, Honda Accord." And I just get in this car, and the driver immediately annoys me. I'm like, "Oh, we messed up." He's like, he's like, "Yeah, so, uh, this this is my second car. My uh my Tesla's is in the shop getting getting a brand new rims. You know, I just, I was went to Vegas and." And uh, just drove. I mean, that thing, dude. So I think it'll go six zero sixteen two point eight seconds. It'll be the it'll be the Ferrari, it'll be the Lamborghini. He talked like that for the whole ride. It's like we weren't there. It was, <laughs> and the, he got in like, what you know, what are we doing? Like we had a show tonight. Da, da, da. He's like, oh man, I the, there's this one girl I picked up recently. Uh, what's her name? What uh, it was Whitney Cummings. He mentioned. She's like, oh, wow. oh yeah, she's got man, she's 
she's got like a million followers, so I hit her up. But I was like, man, she's got a million followers. She's not going to hit me back. But, you know, uh, she's pretty girl, pretty girl, uh, prettier in person. Some of her photos, I'm like, mm. But I saw her in person. And it's like, trust me, man, she looked good in person. And it's like me and Katie in the car. Like, who are you? Are you talking to me Who's or her? For? Or both of us? Yeah. Neither of us want to Do you hear need this. any of us here for this? I was you in the back just own. being like, sick, dude. Uh, dude. That's good to know. More about right, Whitney. Right, Katie? More about Whitney. How hot, though? Nine? <laughs> Ten? Nine and a half? For no P- way! Adjust it for Portland. How good for... Nine at... Portland nine? Portland nine? Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it, Kansas City. Ten. Katie. Katie. Are you hearing this? Katie, we gotta go to her show when she comes. We gotta sit close. Gotta sit close. Please, can we? <laughs> so, I shared this with Katie. I don't know if you know this. We get in the car with our Uber right behind you. And he goes, ooh, I feel bad for your friends right now. And uh, we're like, what's up? He said, that Porsche almost T-boned a car here, almost killed himself and another another family. And we're like, <laughs> another family. It's uh, like, I heard the, the children scream. It was <laughs> a family of five or six. And we're like, oh my gosh. He was like, yeah, he just like ran this stop sign and almost T-boned some people. I mean, he spoke with a, with a speed and an energy that he had to be on something. You can't was, reach that organically. It was bizarre, man. Then he went on to tell me how he was at, he goes to LA parties and meets celebrities That's and how sick. the how the influencer, you know, he has no idea who I am. He's just going like influencers, man, or the influencers these days are cool, man. They're cooler than those A lists. Like those A list things are all that, but like I was I uh, connected with this TikToker and he was like a really cool dude, you know. I'm like, Okay. All right. He's like um, a million followers. Can you imagine? A you million imagine? followers? Ugh. Gosh. I bet you look better in person. Mm. Hey, by the way, you look good, man. <laughs> Oh, she was hot. She was hot. <laughs> Man, she looked weird. Good. Speaking of all the tickets and stuff, I did see a fan sent me this one. I got a little kick out of some sketchy site that just has like my. It just says Trey Kennedy tickets. Oh, a picture about five years old of you. Yeah, they ripped a photo that's like six years old of me, and at the very bottom it says a little something about me. Who I have no idea who wrote this. What it says: Trey oh. Kennedy is an American musician, YouTuber, and Instagram star. Musician first. He is in Oklahoma. He is from Oklahoma. He is known for his poke fun at everyday things we say ado. A true funny content is what Kennedy is specialized in. Poke fun. A true funny content. <laughs> Currently, he has 1.6 million followers and almost 10 million views. Da, da, da. Um, uh, he started his YouTube channel in the year 2015. Before this, he posted funny videos on Vine. Since the day he started, Trey Kennedy has emerged as an internet storm. You are an internet storm. I am. The poke fun storm. I want that to be like if I were like an MMA fire, it's like Trey, the internet storm Kennedy. <laughs> uh oh. A hurricane of a true funny content. You better hope you get caught in the eye of his storm. His nickname, Trey, often know him. That's a good sentence. He has graduated from high school in Edmond. The main aim of his creativity is to spread positive vibes in the society. <laughs> in the society, dude. Siri wrote this <laughs> Positive vibes in the society. Every year, the salary of Trey is calculated to be $32,000 from YouTube. Trey is also good mate to John Chris. Good mate. Good mate is, in the storm. He is calculated to hover around the poverty line. <laughs> we are so, we feel sorry for Trey. He makes a teacher salary <laughs> from YouTube. From YouTube. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Not bad for a, an internet storm who makes poke fun videos. Yeah. <laughs> it, it At also, the end of the day, you can't put a price tag on positive vibes in the society. In the society. 32K. Not bad. <laughs> he has a couple of employees that are earning more than his salary. He is earning he, a net Jake, loss. <laughs> his, yeah, his buddy Jake Triplett provides funny laughs and makes... $6,200 a year. <laughs> we don't know how they do it. Pray for them. Um, it goes on to talk about um, how I wrote a book. Oh, I love this. My failed, like, I try to write a fun little, like, dad joke book back when I did the dad character and just, like, self-sell it on Amazon. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, the funniest, it's, like, the most hilarious way to know people know, don't know have a clue about me. Like, I've been on an interview or two. They'd be like, Trey, you know, Trey here, he's great. He makes all the videos. He's got so many followers. He's even on Spotify. And you're an author. <laughs> I'm like, all right. You just Googled me and found. Yeah. I'd rather be called an internet storm than yeah. an author. If you did your homework, you'd know <laughs> I'm a hurricane of good vibes. 
Um, I will rip through your city. And then it goes on. I don't know where they found this. But go, the best thing about Trey is his humble nature and his appreciation for his fans. <laughs> so he has an internet storm and he's humble about it. Major. It's hard not to be humble when you can't get into your shows and you have to ask them to pay for your Uber. And you are on food stamps. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Major of his content is family friendly. Major, yeah. Major. You major. If you're a fan of Trey's comedy and willing to enjoy his future appearance. I love the way they word things. It makes sense, but it doesn't at all. Are you... Hey, guys, tickets on sale. If you're willing to enjoy my future appearance... At an event. At an event. That happens to be mine. If they let us in the building. Ticketsonsale.com to enjoy mega discounts. Mega discounts. Dang, that sounds sick. Internet storm, bro. That's me. <clears throat> poke, fun, poke fun comedy. Oh, man. That's really good. This makes me want to find what... Do you call yourself an influencer? No. You should, man. Okay. I think, sh should my next... I'm already, you know, game plan on the next tour we go out with. Should I name my next tour? Uh, I feel like I want to say influencer and in, in the title of my next uh, comedy. Really? You've already been thinking about this. That's fun. I think that'd be funny. Trey Kennedy influ influencer extraordinaire tour. <laughs> influencer. That's his wife. Comedy tour. It, get influence. In, influenced yet? Tour. <laughs> Hashtag poke fun. Poke fun. <laughs> Workshopping it. Workshopping it. I'm trying to find some sort of bio on me. Um, according to famousbirthdays.com, I'm the 48th most popular YouTube star born in Missouri. Okay. Top 50. That's pretty good. <laughs> not bad. That's not bad at all, man. <laughs> Top 50th most famous YouTube, YouTube star, star born in, in Missouri. Missouri. Who's first name? No, just kidding. That's it. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the 48th the most famous Jake Triplett in the world or something. I was like, there are that many famous Jake Triplets? I also, numbers get even lower. Number 34 on the list for YouTube stars who have an August 27th birthday. Okay. Oh, baby. And 18th in the world for Virgos named Jake. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty good. Not bad. Top 20. Maybe I should call myself an influencer. I had no idea I was top 20 Virgo Jakes. Um, That's not bad right there. These are uh, these are so funny. The uh, famous birthdays is so bizarre. I'm the uh, I'm the eight number 18th most popular 29 year old Instagram star. <laughs> it's like when you're watching sports and they're like, um, this is the first time we have a guy uh, with two moms tackle a guy with two dads ever in the NFL. And you're like, what? Okay. That, that doesn't feel like it matters, but where does, who's keeping track of these stats? I feel like the Kansas city Royals were infamous for doing this over years. Cause they were so bad. And so it's like, we got to put some fun fact on the Jumbotron and they would have to dig so deep to be like, Raul Abanez is actually hitting over 300 in night games. When the pitcher is also from the Dominican Republic. <laughs> It's like it's seriously oh, like yeah. a fact. He's gonna, okay. He's gonna play well tonight. Okay, I'd bet on him. Yeah, they. This is a real stat. They were like, uh, there was a team that played where Josh Allen. Oh yeah. On offense was the playing Jaguars. a guy on the team named Josh Allen. They're like, if he's able to tackle, if Josh Allen tackles Josh Allen, it'll be the first time ever in history where the guy with the same name tackled a guy with the same name. Like, <laughs> cool. cool. <laughs> I want to know if he's a Virgo. Yeah. Though. How popular of a Virgo true. is he? Which isn't true because if I. Ever come across another Trey Kennedy, I'm going to whoop his butt. I'll tackle him. <laughs> Send that into next-gen stats. Mm -hmm. How about that stat? Um, is Jake Triplett still alive? Jake Triplett is alive and well. That's what infamouspeople.com uh, that says. I'm the number eighth most famous Trey. You want to take any guesses? Trey Songs. He's one, man. Trey God, Lance. He's handsome. No. Trey. You haven't heard of any of these. Maybe okay. you've heard of Trey Parker. Nope. He's the, is he the South Park guy? Behind him. And then Trey Smith, who's an Instagram star, who's also 29. Good gosh. gosh. That guy's so polluted. Killing me. Trey Malachi, TikTok <laughs> star, who's 13. That sounds like a TikTok star. That gummit. I'm the number two most famous star born in Oklahoma. Whoa. 
according to famous birthdays, which isn't true. I mean, like Garth Brooks and Carrie Underwood are more there. <laughs> I'm behind Huda Katan, Huda Katan. It sounds like a, store. a board game. You guys want to come and play Huda Katan? We're going to the I call land blue. of Huda Katan. <laughs> You're always blue. Like blue and Huda Katan. Um. To be fair, I don't think Garth Brooks. How did I even get on here? I bet an email. How are you on Famous Birthdays? I bet I responded to an email years ago where they're like, "We want to put you on FamousBirthdays.com," and I was like, oh, "Here's my I birthday would info. Love that. Here's my social security number. Whatever you need." Oh, dating. I'm on DatingCelebs.com. Okay. Who is Jake Triplett dating now? Let's go. What do they have your height? Um, they have my height at. What do they have your skin tone? It says translucent. That's not good. Race, Caucasian, <laughs> color, translucent. <laughs> um, about Jake Triplett's Are girlfriend. You, is he Hispanic? No. Okay, but is he Caucasian? <laughs> the Hispanic version. Um, how does he how does he bat against Caucasian pitchers who identify as translucent? This website's hilarious. So the first bullet point says, "Who is Jake Triplett dating?" Jake Triplett is currently single, comma, according to our records. Next bullet point says relationship status. As of 2021, Jake Triplett is not Jake Triplett's is not dating anyone. Next bullet point about Jake Triplett's girlfriend. Jake Triplett doesn't have a girlfriend right now. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> She's rubbing it in my face. Yeah. Does he have a girlfriend? No. What is the girlfriend's name? There is not one. <laughs> How what did they she, meet? What does she do for Nowhere. Her? Nowhere. It doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. How did they meet? Nowhere. What's their favorite memory together? Does not exist. Yeah. Where's she from? A fantasy world. <laughs> Just keeps going. Like, all right. All right. <laughs> you try to hit a word count here? Yeah. Um, all dating histories are fact-checked and confirmed by our users. That's good. Good. Fact-checked. <laughs> Who has Jake Triplett dated? No one. He wishes. <laughs> he wishes he had someone. How scary would that be if they actually had the accurate info? Oh, that'd be crazy. Yeah, like, you know that girl like for just for two months? He, he, you... he tried, took a girl from Hinge out to Italian last Thursday. <laughs> Didn't go great. How do you know this? Wow. Um, yeah, who is Jake Triplett dated? Like most celebrities, thank you, datingcelebs.com. Mm -hmm. Jake Triplett tries to keep his personal and love life private, but we know all too well he is so, so single. <laughs> That's not the end of the sentence, but it says, so check back often as we will continue to update this page with new dating news and rumors. Like all celebrities. <laughs> it's tough for us to get uh, personal info out of them. Uh, I took a girl on a first date to an Italian place once. Was that a bad move? Get some, get some oh, no. talk That's, over? I prefer like a first date at an Italian place. It was... Everyone likes Italian. I heard... I was new to the city. I heard... I Google stuff. It's like, this looks good. But when I got there, it's like... They described some of their pasta as all you can eat. <laughs> and I was less confident in the place uh, I chose. Uh, I feel like that's never a great vibe. I'm starting to get bothered by... You want to go through the buffet at the same time? or <laughs> What if I go get by a salad way. and you get us, you know, the fettuccine? We can kind of be more efficient that way. Mm. Come back with big bowls. Yeah, no, I get bothered by like decently nice Italian restaurants... But then they'll still have like a TV somewhere with the game on it. And I feel like that ruins like the vibe of like the True. It's like, this is nice. I, so I didn't know they had, they were going to play the Appalachian State game. Like yeah. now it feels like it's not that nice of a restaurant. Yeah. Not, not, not a big football culture in Italy, I presume. <laughs> American football. Yeah. Um, I want some spaghetti. See if there's Dude, anything else in Big there. Christmas party this weekend. Yeah. Fired up about it. You're throwing a, a lot of us for a loop when it comes to the dress code. I, I, I mean, oh, Recties. Drill what, Katie with questions. What do you think Christmas cocktail attire means? Take a second. What do you think? Obvious, right? Ladies, you probably get it. <clears throat> the amount of various dudes come up to me and like, all right, so I Googled this thing. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, do I don't know if I should show up in a tux or a Santa suit. <laughs> um, I, I have elf ears. Both. Would yeah. that be good? What if I, yeah. What if I just wear like kind of a three piece suit with. With the Santa beard, maybe kind <laughs> Does of. Does that kind of hit the sweet spot? It's easy. That's become a. That's a big pet peeve of mine. When when I'm in a dress up uh, scenario with a bunch of dudes, I feel like it's not complicated. And dressing up's not that hard. But the amount of guys, it'll be like a wedding weekend, and my groomsmen will like text me like, 
uh, hey, is anyone planning on wearing a tie tomorrow? Because, like, can we all agree not to? And you're like, <laughs> dude, are you nine years old? Wear a tie <laughs> once a year. It's It'll okay. Be fine, yeah. Um, or I hate when people will be like, what's, like, the rehearsal dinner will be like, don't worry, guys, just, you can wear, like, jeans and a t-shirt if you want. I'm like, come on. Don't we let can, him off the hook like we that. We dress up. <clears throat> yeah, it's fine. We'll be okay. I like dressing up. When I, I, I like never your, do it. You're giving us an excuse to. Thank you. We're very excited for the, uh, Katie specifically, of our uh, shark, don't want to spoil too much, but we're going to have a charcuterie table, so. Like an entire table. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what else can I expect? It's kind of it, really. And then <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, it's just standing there talking for as long as you want to. You think we're upstairs? Are we downstairs? Are we mingling? Are we outside? We're, we're, we're on the main floor. We're downstairs. Ooh, let's check the web. Sorry, I, I said web, weather. I think it's warm the day before, back to cold the day of. Oh, high of 47. That's not. But, I mean, so when you're, when you're at a party, you're kind of, you're having fun. You've got your sport coat on. We got heaters on outside. There's be there'll, some, oh. there'll be some people dabbling out there from time Didn't to time. Didn't know we had heaters on outside. That's yes. lovely. I mean, it's kind of... Can we talk about this? I'm thankful for global warming. I hope, it's I hope China keeps pumping it up <clears throat> in the ozone. Oh, yeah. It's going to be... Have you checked? It It will be 73 degrees on... Dis, when is this? It will be 73 degrees on December 15th in Kansas City. It's awesome. And it's like consistently, it's like, it's like above 50 degrees. I mean, like 11 of the oh next like 12 days. F uh, today's chilly, 40. And then we got 53, 65, 65, 50, 55, 60, 70, 70. See? Hey. Warm it up, China. Warm it up. Slow your roll, Elon. <laughs> yeah. Pump out those diesel trucks. Let's get those Bitcoin. Uh, Rev your engines. Mining computers back up. I try, I try to do my part. I, I go out every morning in our... Uh, our Toyota mm -hmm. and I just rev the engine. I don't yeah. even put it into drive. I just stand there and just go <laughs> and just billows of smoke. Yeah. And I'm trying to do my part. Yeah. You think it's 73 without a little bit of help from all of us? No, mm -hmm. we all got to do our part. So put up your bicycles, put up your VW electric cars and start plugging stuff into stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't need to make sense. Plug in a toaster outside. Just, yeah. just start using just electricity. Yeah, just run it. Just run it. Just have it going. Yeah. Have those propane heaters outside in the middle of summer. When I go out of town for vacation, I bump it. I bump my heater up to 85. Yeah, good. Just run it. Windows down. Windows up, though. Mm -hmm. So it has to work hard yes. the whole time so yes. to keep it at 85. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. The bill is insane, but I'm a giver. What I like to do recently. I make 32K a year. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I'll be just fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, I looked it up. I didn't mention this earlier. My net worth is $14 million. So you're very generous, boss. You give it almost all away. Yeah, I'm not, my uh, I, I like to think I'm a funny guy, but my my financials are pretty much a disaster. <laughs> Katie, we're spinning our wheels here. You're gonna have to get a job again, a, a second job. I just gave Jake two and a half million dollars. <laughs> I felt Jake's doing a good job. I just gave him a Christmas bonus of three quarters of a million dollars, and I'm left with pennies. <laughs> I've been trying to do my part too with global warming. Recently, what I've been trying to do is um with the amount of money you've been giving me is booking um, airline flights and try to find flights that no one is currently on. So they have to now make a flight. Right. I don't show up. Oh, I, I they have to use jet fuel just to get to the airport. And then I'm not even, there. I've ignored three calls right now. Cause I have a chartered jet taken off right now. Good. No one on it. Good. And I just said, just fly it. I bought it. <laughs> like you're not on it. I'm like, hmm, well, are, do you have a heavy coat on? She said, no. I said, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Take off. Yeah, enjoy that spaghetti strap this Friday, yeah. middle of December. You're no welcome. Kidding. Yeah, enjoy football Sunday in a t-shirt in <laughs> December. Everyone's got to do their part. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I know that's... Okay, this is a good point to... Uh, let's hear from a few of our friends. Thank you all for, for uh, always being patient with the ads. You know, I mean... You're giving all your money away. you got to earn it back somehow. Uh, but really, uh, thanks for... For doing that, we, we really try to pick ads that are fun and, and like give good value. So um, listen to the offers, enjoy it. We'll be right back. Thank you. This holiday season, the best deal in wireless can be found at Mint Mobile. Ooh. Right now, when you switch to Mint Mobile and buy any three-month plan, you'll get another three months for free. Holy can you believe cow. that? It's the first company to sell premium wireless service online only. Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just $15 a month. 
Uh, you oh, guys, this is a holiday. This is a great holiday deal. Uh, it's time to switch. Mint Mobile sent me a plan, put it in my phone. Uh, I could talk, I could text, I started the internet. It worked $50 a month. I mean, it's that, really that easy. Uh, and it's, the, it's their best offer of the year. It's here. There's a limited time and you can buy any three month plan and get three more months free. By going online only and eliminating the traditional costs of retail, Mint Mobile passes those savings on to you and me. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high C data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. So, so cash, get those savings this year, y'all. We got an offer for you. For a limited time, buy any three month Mint Mobile plan and get three more months free by going to mintmobile.com slash tray. That's mintmobile.com slash tray. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month. Mintmobile. Dot com slash tray. I love this time of year, but hate the pressure that comes with trying to find the perfect gift. Am I right, Jay? Oh my gosh! Don't get me started. Uh, do you ever? Do you have? A, I have this little uh, kid cousin. I'm supposed to get gifts for. What, what in the world do I give him? I don't know. I don't even know where to start. Well, now I do. I'm giving him the gift to last a lifetime. The gift of learning. <laughs> with OutSchool. OutSchool offers the largest variety of live interactive online classes for kids pre-K through high school. Uh, I mean, like they have video game design, cartoon animation, playing an instrument, Whew. speaking a language, so much more. Classes are super affordable. You can choose the size and group that works best for your child, giving them the experience that's best for them. OutSchool even has one-on-one -on -one classes. For, you know, Jake, you used to go to one-on-one -on -one classes. That's right. And my little one is starting to learn Spanish, so I know exactly what I'm getting him this season. Ooh, gracias. <laughs> OutSchool makes it easy for kids to learn what they love, a gift that gives back to them over and over for their whole lives. OutSchool, they hooked me up with like a, a gift card. I've checked out some of the classes. I'm very impressed by it. Good. You guys are going to like OutSchool. So go check it out. I have an offer for you. So I'm giving that little cousin of mine a gift that will last a lifetime. And you can too. To learn more all about OutSchool and what it has to offer and save $15 off on your child's first class, go to outschool.com slash tray. That's O-U-T-S-C-H-O-O-L.com slash tray. And to get, you can get $15 off your child's first class. Outschool.com slash tray. Jake, is your ex still using your Netflix? Yes, both of my first wives were. <sighs> you know how you found that out? True Bill. Yeah, you downloaded True Bill and it shows, it found that they were using it and it canceled sub the subscriptions with just a tap. So easy. Not the marriages. That no, was a of longer course. process. But, uh, yeah. Uh, but True Bill, <laughs> True Bill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. On average, people save up to $720 a year, $20 a year with True Bill. And uh, you have a True Bill concierge. It's there uh, when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions so you don't have to. How about that? It's so nice. I know for me, it was Tidal and Planet Fitness because I don't listen to Jay-Z's music and I don't work out. My man. Needed help. That's the reason for the first divorce and then the second. <laughs> Truebill has over 2 million users and helps save them over $100 million. Uh, so we have an offer for y'all. Truebill, seriously, I found it. I had so many subscriptions. Help me out. Save me so much money. So y'all get Truebill today. Uh, don't fall for subscription scam. Start canceling today at truebill.com slash tray. Go right now. Truebill.com slash tray. It could save you thousands a year. Who doesn't want that? Truebill.com slash tray. Jake, let's do little runs and funs for the people. For okay. the case. Okie dokie. My <clears throat> runs was, speaking of I talked about last night. Good. Just a side note. I got home. Did you actually... Again, you know, when we get home from our travels, we, we stayed in town for an extra day. We shot a collab with Dude Dad. Yeah. I'm sure uh, a lot of you are familiar with him. Another great influencer, comedian guy. So I got, I got home and I was just like, man, what a week. I deserve, I deserve something special. And, uh, and Katie was like, you know, I always mess with Katie because she she's kind of like you know you know Katie she's very soft spoken very dull so she'd be like oh yeah whatever you want I'm like okay I'm not six <laughs> but I'm like okay she's like let me I'll post my shit whatever you want you deserve it you know Taco Bell she's like no is there something else you want yeah I was like wait, wait. <laughs> don't tell me whatever I want and then judge me put down three quesaritos and don't look at don't look at me when you do it but do it please <laughs> and I had it dude it. Taco Bell, I like. I am a food guy. You know that about me. I love. Yeah. I love trying new foods. Give me a nice restaurant. Nothing better. But what what makes me doubt a lot of what I've done before? I'll go sit down at a restaurant and you know I'll buy a forty dollars steak from time to time. Yeah. And you're like, man, this is good. 
but is it better <laughs> than a gordita crunch? <laughs> and that part of me says, I don't know, and that really upsets me. Because I don't what what are they doing to that for three dollars and to make it taste so good? Truly, and, and their sauce too. You throw their yep. sauce on there and it is so good. You ever so gone tasty. Diablo? I love uh, not Diablo. on purpose. It'll that'll wake you up. But yeah, I've I've had it. All their sauce is good. So it was quite a night for me. That's awesome. I'm very uh, grateful. But my 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 runs were you saw you didn't witness me actually watch. We uh we were West Coast and my Oklahoma State Cowboys football team. They were like maybe gonna make the the final four football playoffs. Huge deal. Huge deal for me and my people. The game was at uh, nine AM West Coast. We we I set my alarm, I roll off the bus, we're watching the game. What a game, down in the final seconds, lose heartbreaking fashion. You weren't around for the were you asleep still? For what? The beginning? Or the end? No, the end. Remember, I went golfing. You did go golf. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I I, I, uh, I, I slapped a water bottle off the couch. That's really? how mad I was. Yeah. I said, Dad, gum it. <laughs> slapped it. Slapped it. <laughs> who, who was around to see the water bottle slap? Kate, I think Katie, Allen, and Tom. Oh, no. Allen was also ticked. He's a fellow Oklahoma State guy. He, yeah. just, he just got off the bus. I think he went somewhere the venue to chill tom left i think he was scared he's like this guy's usually he's barely has the courage to enter the venue i've I've never seen this anger yeah and then katie was like nice for like two minutes like i'm sorry and then she was kind of like okay it doesn't matter so can you please stop (laughs) and i did we went to uh get tacos that i sad ate and then felt very ill so all that was just a rough morning for me (laughs) and uh in uh, Riverside, or we were in Sacramento. No, that was Riverside, was Riverside. California. Yeah, those were the runs. Dang. Um, one of my runs, I think, would be a uh, the sad morning that I had this morning. For some reason, I decided, ooh, in the new house, you know, when a good time to schedule a Google Fiber appointment would be eight a.m. Oh, did you forget you did that? I remembered. I was just mad at myself for doing oh. that. Like we landed last night from Denver at like nine p.m. And just in the midst of everything else going on, we just had. I a, wanted to we sleep. We worked in. for a week straight. We were going to take the morning off. I was kind of bummed. I had scheduled a nine thirty a.m. appointment, <laughs> a haircut appointment, because so I was like, man, I was just gonna. I was like, I'm gonna crap because we we had to wake up at four a.m. to get on a flight to Denver. Yeah. Then we woke up early to like shoot with dude dad, and I was like, dude, I'm gonna sleep twelve hours tonight. Da da da. I'm hanging out. I'm staying up a little bit. And I was like, oh, I got to wake up at, at 9 for a haircut. Dang. You had to, so you had to roll out. A 8 a.m. Google Fiber appointment. Guy walks in and he's like, um, you guys already have a fiber line in here? I'm like, I I don't think so. I thought that's what you were doing. <laughs> and he's like, okay, no, hey, no problem. Never uh, owned a house before. I don't know. know. And uh, he's like, all right, so um, now where is your hardware for this? I was like, I mean, the appointment said Google Fiber installation, not Google Fiber Bring your own hardware party. BYOH Christmas cocktail attire. I don't. I don't have anything. Just, Look at my house. There's like, nothing I'm in, in a here. Santa suit, but I don't have the hardware. <laughs> Dude, I it, it took me 12 years to understand like what hardware and stuff was. They're like, uh, yeah, for your AT and T cable, you need the hardware. I'm like, what? You act like I know what the word hardware means. It's a soft wire, so yeah. that doesn't make any sense to I me. I mean, hardware store, like <laughs> screws and bolts. Oh, oh like, you want me to, I need to go to Home Depot. Home Depot. We can oh. run it. You want to go with me or separate? Okay, this sounds like a nightmare. Then what? So basically, it's just like, I don't have what I need. So he's like, ah, I can't really do anything for you. So I was like, sick. I'm glad I woke up for this. And then the morning gets better. Go back to sleep for a little bit. Then I'm like, all right, I got to go back to my old house. That's where my computer is. My laptop's been crashing. Anytime I try to edit anything, Derek, I meant to talk to you about this. I don't know what's been going on lately with Premiere. But so I'm like, my, my desktop computer's at the old house. I'll go there and edit a video. I get in there. Heat has been shut off for some reason. Something is broken with the thermostat. I am a shivery little boy. I mean, it is it is winter time, and the heat has not been on in a while. Has the overwhelmingness of home ownership hit you yet? Uh, Did that really hit you, or no? Not a ton yet, because okay. this is in the old house. This is just like, oh, it got oh, shut off in the old house. So okay, like, so you don't have to deal with that. No, everything oh, in the I new see. house is okay, still fine. Go ahead. <clears throat> it was just annoying because, like, you really like you use your fingers a lot to edit. Use your hands, and those are yeah, the you know, first just, thing to go. It's just not you know I. <clears throat> When it's 38 degrees inside, it's kind of annoying. It just it bothers me a little bit. <laughs> On top of that, it's so cold that I can't get like my wireless 
um, keyboard or the, the trackpad to connect. I assume it's because of the cold or yeah. just some other coincidence. Your iMac is just flashing. This is meant for indoor use only. <laughs> indoor use only. You're like, I'm inside, I swear. It's like, not for use on the surface of Mars. Yeah. It's like, no, I promise. I, like, I'm I on promise. Earth, I'm indoors. And so it can't connect. I'm going through all these issues. I finally am like, all right, I'm, every like three minutes of editing, I have to pull the hands back and give it a good do that a blow on my hands i just like mother goose and i just like, sit on my hands for a little bit like all right we're good all right we're good we're back premiere keeps crashing it was just it was a fun fun day of just horrible like, man everything that could have gone wrong kept going wrong and um now we're here but now i'm warm though and i got my white white hoodie on yeah feeling good so you is your is the heat working now as i was leaving i i kind of realized that it was like the thermostat was what was like broken like the thermostat whatever so mm. i just took the batteries out and put them back in and it seemed to kick on as i was leaving so like i'll come back in two hours see if this fixed it so i don't know yeah when i bought my first house i feel like i walked immediately a few things went wrong and i remember just being like why did i do this but <laughs> you get i guess you get the hang of it but oh because when i bought my first house the ac i remember the one thing with my house that was kind of like a red flag was like everything's kind of new but the central heat and air is like 25 years old oh, that seems pretty it right and they're like so <clears throat> you know it's working but that's definitely something that you know is due for replacement so like i don't know how long you're trying to live here i was like you know good deal that's the one thing okay i mean i two weeks after i move in uh, it just dies i'm like dang. august 100 degrees i buy a window unit i know nothing about window units so apparently the window unit i didn't buy was like it was not strong enough to heat the room it was in oh okay so it was like running but it's still like you know it'd go from like 88 to like 81 degrees or like well this is still kind of horrible still warm. and so i had to like get a return that and get something new and it took forever to finally get fixed and you, you call these people to fix stuff and they walk in there and they just look at the unit they go i mean did <laughs> did you hire a clown to come put this in? You're like, I, I don't know anything about it. And then you call someone else because he didn't do it right. It's like, oh, you called that guy? Oh, Jerry's people never know what they're doing. They don't know what, the, I mean, to tell you what, those guys, <laughs> that's a joke what they do over there. So let me do it this way. And then you have someone repair it two years later. I don't remember their number. I don't remember that guy's. And you, some guy fixes something. It was when we were shooting middle school Maddox. Uh, yeah, I remember that. When one of the guys on the crew Flipped a switch on my unit without telling me. That was the only thing wrong with it. Yeah. But it like turned it off. Some hidden switch, which a great thing to put on the furnace. <laughs> and the guy who fixed it was like a really nice guy. He's like, no, is it, this is new. I see. Who put this in? I was like, I don't know. Some, it's like a warranty company thing. He's like, I mean, they did the whole, I mean, honestly, you gotta, you should probably just redo the entire thing. <laughs> I'm like what? I'm, I'm paying you 50 bucks to just get it going again. I don't, yeah, I don't need like, this guilt trip. Uh, of like, could, this is all wrong. This might burn the house down to be honest. You're like what? <laughs> Back up. <laughs> What'd you just say? Every time. Can't wait for that. Luckily everything on the new house is fine so far, but yeah, just cold fingers. This little morning. pro tip. Yep. I'm trying to think of the dumb things I've learned. Um, if you're a, if your AC's ever not working in the heat of the summer, just spray it down with a hose. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Derek? Just the entire... The, like, cottonwoods or some of the, like, uh, leafy, like, frilly stuff that flies in the air. Cottonwoods. Cottonwoods what in the stuff? world are you talking... You want me to hose down my home or hose down, like, the... the AC unit. <laughs> the unit itself? Just, just un chilling in the basement. No, hose outside. Oh, Yeah, okay. he, see, he doesn't even... <laughs> all right, first of all, the AC has a unit outside. Okay, I know what you're talking about now. Okay, okay. I know what you're talking about. It's got the, the big, big fan. fan. It was fun. To, as a kid, you'd be like... Oh, 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 oh. It was really fun. Okay. And you got to spray the... Uh, one time I, I called a guy. I was like, the AC's not working that well. And he just, like, power hosed the side of it, and all this cottonwood fell out. And he's like, I'm done. <laughs> and he charged me 100 bucks <laughs> And my dignity. Okay. <laughs> I love the idea of me hosing down the roof. The shingles are getting hot. You I'm going to cool them off. <laughs> you just hose down your indoor unit and just ruin it. I like, Trey, I it. hose down. I don't know if it was the heater or the AC, but I hose down some just metal box. to be careful. <laughs> and now it's not working. You told me to do this. I also, I, there's no cottonwoods in here. I don't know how you get that in your basement. Also, what is a cottonwood? <laughs> it's a big tree. Cool. You remember those the weird? Maybe you've never lived by one like that one time oh, a the year. Helicopters? They like, no, not the helicopters. Dang it! This is uh, it looks like 
literal cotton that just flows through the air if you live near a cottonwood. Oh, okay. I've seen like I've been on a golf course where they're like flying through the air. It looks maybe, like snow. Maybe I just know because my my parents lived to an next to a neighbor who has a huge cottonwood, and okay. they're like, oh, every, Dad go. <laughs> every year we tell them to cut down the dang cottonwood. They won't do it. Gets in our AC units. Yeah, I've never had uh, beef with a cottonwood, so maybe that's why. Mm. That's fine. The helicopters are cool, though. Yeah. The birds are back. The birds are back in your Ow. neighborhood. I find, I figured out the culprit. It's because the old the old man across the street feeds the birds. <laughs> he is attracting a swarm of pest birds. I mean, it's, it's literally if you looked across your street and an old lady is just, like, setting out Cheetos for a herd of rats. You're yeah. like, why? Do you want the rats? What? Just sparrows. I mean terrorizing the people on the street i think the old man sees that he lives across the street from an internet storm he's like i want to be my own bird storm i gotta fight fire with fire here yeah. birds take that. take them over yeah take that. put that on your tiktok <laughs> so yeah. birds are back oh it's terrifying yeah it sucks i, I got i gotta park real close i don't want to have to walk by them and again i can't you know i don't know what to do Remember last time they're around, I was Googling, like, if you, if I BB gun one of them, will the rest of them un get it? Get the picture. Get the picture. Will it send a message? And I Which mean, one's the queen bird? Birds are so protected in this country. I mean, they basically, the government will basically, like, pay you to kill rats. They're like, we hate these things. But birds, maybe it's because they're drones. Why are they so protected? Why do you want the sparrows alive, how, government? How hot does the earth need to get to where the birds will die? Because I can oh. keep booking flights. How bad is global warming we need to get to where the sparrows all just perish? Mm. Riddle me that, Neil See? deGrasse Tyson. I'll tweet him. Climate change, man. It's important. It's important we change the climate. Yeah. Change you it. guys make the vow. We'll sign it. We'll get the petition started for the rectees. Mm -hmm. I vow to further damage the ozone. <laughs> just, Heat the planet. No, no, Nothing crazy. Just hot enough to kill off the sparrows across the street. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. And then I'll, I'll start recycling again. <laughs> it is such a funny idea. It's like the ever, ever, all the scientists are like, guys, the planet's getting hotter. And we're like, awesome. awesome. Like, I live no, in the Midwest. No, <laughs> that will be a disaster. Like, oh, oh, oh. Right now, a few degrees warmer is pretty good for me. But I mean. I truly think that's why they kind of rebranded it. Because like early 2000s, they called it global warming. And we were all like, that sounds pretty nice. And then cool. five years later, like, we got to. This needs to like yeah. we need a PR firm to come in and yeah. spin this like so Heat now it. it's called climate change. Yeah. Does that make it sound worse? It's a little more neutral. Neutral. They need to go full on like um, the devil's the, the devil's climate. <laughs> the devil's climate. It's like oh jeez, yeah. I don't want oh. that. Yeah. Actually, then it sounds hot again though. So yeah. it's like ah, I could rationalize this to be nice. Yeah. I don't know what they need. <laughs> Hell's moving north. <laughs> I dude, I looked. Uh, it is scary though. Some of the hot places like. Uh, in Iran or something like that, that area this summer, they were like, it would be like 128 degrees. It's so hot that like, no air can like, it would like ruin the electrical grid. Oh, but, like, that was actually like giving me anxiety. Can you imagine being somewhere where it's like 125 degrees and there's no, it's like electricity from it. Work? Yeah. Oh my God. <sighs> it was just showing people they were basically, they would just like sit in the local rivers or like local waterways. Even those were hot, oh, obviously, but, yeah, those. Hey, we have plenty of room in North Dakota. That's what I'm saying, you gotta buy your land, buy your land in Idaho now. Twenty years is gonna be Hawaii there. <laughs> Thank me later. <clears throat> Thank me later. I'm a reading. I forget the name of the city, but wherever like, um, like Islamic people go to have like their yearly like pilgrimage, like wherever like Mecca is. Is it called Mecca? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's like one of the hottest cities in the is world. It the, is it east or west? I mean, I think it depends on where you are, <laughs> uh, wherever nice. Cottonwood is. But it's like getting to be one of the hottest cities. It's like becoming a problem. Like I think like thousands of people are dying every year from heat stroke. Like when oh. they go do their pilgrimage, and it's like it's getting to be really bad. It's like yeah, let's move this. Uh, that is it. Why don't we do this in Switzerland? Mm -hmm. Are you guys cool with doing Alps? a little? Yeah, that could be fun. You like know, six thousand feet up, base camp. Fine, Muhammad would understand. I think he would get it. Very hot. Yeah, That's I don't know. Scary. I probably got a couple of facts wrong, but I do remember reading that somewhere. It's like, geez, that is a bummer. You're good. It's called Mecca. Okay. The Mecca. Is Mecca. What's your Mecca? El Mecca. Got it. My Mecca. Uh huh. Mm, probably like a like a really nice rotel dip. Dude, that's just the, the best. 
the smell of Rotel when you open that can. Rotel smell. It's different. Yeah. Rotel smell? Rotel smell. That's what I want for Christmas. Just pop a couple of those open for me. That's Wake me up that way. Wake me up. Five times a day. Just pop it open. 5.30 a.m. Merry Christmas. Oh, is that Rotel smell? Mm. Just what I asked for. Smells like Rotel. Smells like our friends and sponsors. <laughs> Sounds like an ad. Um, we'll be right back. Jake, you ever think you'll be a four-eyes dork? Oh, you know, I hope so. So I can look cool. Yeah. Uh, my eyes got bad and I was pumped so I could have glasses and not <laughs> be made fun of because those aren't real glasses. Whatever, dude. Well, they are, and they're Warby Parkers. Good. And they're fi- they're stylish, and they're affordable. Good. Warby Parker, guys, they're a proud sponsor of the podcast. Uh, they're committed to providing excellent, exceptional vision care online and in stores, offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, and contact lenses. Glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses. Uh, you can try Warby Parker's free home try-on program, where you order five pairs of glasses to try on at home for free for five days. There's no obligation to buy. Ships free and includes a prepaid return shipping label. Uh, I have had their sunglasses for years. Got their glasses, subscription, uh, prescription. Everything. Not a subscription. <laughs> prescription. Mm-hmm. And uh, I use the free Triumph program. It's Good. A game changer. Y'all should too. Try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash tray. Five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash tray. Um, I, I've tried this out. Found what I wanted. Shipped the rest back bottom $95 starting at very simple affordable delicious Warby Parker <laughs> Jake you know our voices have been hoarse <laughs> out on the road hey and you're you're real hide you're a real hydrating guy these days aren't you I am little water boy but sometimes I like to have a little extra kick oh that's right you like to get hydrated with less water and you can do that with liquid IV mm. did you know cooler weather makes it easier to miss signs of dehydration well hey Flu season's come in full swing. Yep. You don't want to get sick this time of year. Make nope. hydration a priority and it, it make you healthier day to day. Liquid IV can do that. One stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. And Why it tastes great. Not? It Why tastes great. Not? What's your favorite flavor? Watermelon. You? Ooh, watermelon with sugar? Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, seriously, y'all love these products. Liquid IV. I've worked it into my daily routine. It's a nice little treat. It tastes good. It's low calorie. Mm. If you're getting some nutrients you need, getting hydrated. Uh, I love lemon lime as well. Oh, that's good. And uh, you guys, I love Liquid IV. And I love things. And I want you to have things that I love. But not Katie. <laughs> so we have an offer for y'all today. Grab your favorite Liquid IV flavors nationwide at Walmart, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code TREY at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code TREY at liquidiv.com. Man, it smells like advertising in here. Mm. Mm. Smell of commercialism. Liquid gold, they call it. I feel like liquid gold's a new thing. Are you talking about like in a literal sense? We got sidetracked. Those were your runs. <laughs> okay, sorry. Funs. I didn't even mention one of the... I drove to my new house. Like 25-minute drive to my old house with the, the, the igloo. Forgot my backpack. Idiot. You had to drive all the way back. Had to drive all the way back. All the way back again. Just good, good time on I-35. All right, now I'm done with my runs. Back to you. Those are some runs. My funs... Um, you know, I briefly mentioned the Taco Bell. My really... I, I really do love meeting the rectus on the road and, and having uh, normal adult people call themselves rectus. Um, it's just very special and yeah, I met a lot of cool people. It's always a high. I, um, we had someone come from London to a show. Yes. I think her name was Elizabeth. And we had a bunch of white people come to the shows. That was cool. And also different races who enjoy themselves. That was also cool. Love it. Yeah. And, uh, we just had all sorts of people. Translucent people were there. Yes. My family came. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they uh, they were. I mean, the reflections were astonishing off of them. We had to say, "Can you turn the house lights down?" Actually, <laughs> and there's, it's reflecting off their forehead. It's distracting. <clears throat> it hurts. Uh, but yeah, my funds were. Ooh, my fu- I broke a hundred on the golf course for the first time. Nice. Those were my funds. Yeah, you did. You I did. did pretty well. I've uh, I think I figured out a little something out where I had some consistency. I didn't have a full blown temper tantrum on the course. It was felt nice. <laughs> I uh, got a fun new golf bag. But it's white. It's white. That sucks. <laughs> that was mine. It was fun. Uh, really cool course. And 
just a great the west coast was a great stretch we had the great shows all around that sacramento golf course was so sweet it was i've never been in a place like that like it had like pacific northwest vibes like these cool it was like very foggy very green but then a palm tree every now and then sacramento is better than you hear it's it better, a bad rap yeah it's cool it's cool you're you're right in the san francisco area and it's a pretty part of california yeah it was we said it was still fall over there beautiful foliage you yeah great yeah like you said crazy pine trees but also these beautiful palm trees and maple trees sacramento was fine we, we enjoyed our time and i feel like it's like two hours from lake tahoe like an hour from the bay area like an hour from like the redwoods like you got you're in a good spot i might move there all right nah, i'm not yeah. <laughs> move there, it's not that not, great uh, yeah, as yeah. You say. yeah unless global warming turns on us but yeah sacramento good vibes uh another run for me this is for both of us i just want to remind you of it the girl in the front row who wouldn't shut up or sit down in seattle it was seattle that's where it was yeah mm-hmm. that one sucked <clears throat> it was seattle because i said i said alexa shut up drunk blonde girl that was one of the better improv punch lines. which felt good yeah which is fun <clears throat> but yeah occasionally we'll get i'd say once every like two or three shows we get a pretty obnoxious like drunk girl in the on it's not even really a heckler it's just like had a little too many thinks she's hilarious not t- totally social there's aware. only been four or five i'd say she's probably she's probably number three all the time Behind. What made it so worse is she was in the best seat in the house. She was sitting in the front row, dead center. 50-yard line, front row. And so she just keeps standing up, and it's just so distracting to everyone else. Like, you can't even see, like, the she, bottom half of tray. She, like, put her hands, like, on the stage at a couple she, times, and, like, just, security had to run over. Yeah, it was just so obnoxious. Where were we? Was it Portland? They were saying they were actively kicking people out. Oh, I didn't know that. For what? You didn't hear this? No. I guess... Because I remember when the Portland show, I saw the guys working there doing a lot of walking around. And I guess they cooked, they kicked out numerous people. For what reason? Not following the rules. I think they might have... Because they always say, like, don't have your phones out. You know, watch slash, like, the you know, we don't want you necessarily, like, posting all these clips online. It's supposed to be, like, you only see this here. Yeah. <clears throat> and most places are very lax. I mean, yeah, they let that girl, like, approach the stage six times and never kicked her out. <laughs> yeah. But the Portland, I guess, they were... I mean, if you messed up once, they're like, get out. That's kind of their thing, though. I mean, they let things get out of hand a little too much about a year ago <laughs> in Portland. And so, like, we got to keep control on uh, anything. Yeah, this is, I mean, you, you know, they're like, you guys are being strict out there. Like, trust us, this is a one false move away from being a <laughs> from total getting, a, autonomous zone. <laughs> getting the gas mask back out. Yeah. We don't want to have to do that. So, so no recording, please. No recording, please. The slippery slope. Um, yeah, I will. I thought I, I thought the laugh sounded weird at one point. They were just struggling through the tear gas. Yeah, it was, it was becoming a little. Are you tear gassing the audience? Like, yeah, we we just don't want, we want to be careful. We know these people. Yeah. Anyway, so that was kind of a, a runs for us, but uh, I do have a funds too. <clears throat> this also goes for both of us. You know, you guys probably heard it enough. You kind of know a little run of the show. Towards the end of it, Trey and I we sing to a woman, improvise song at the end of the show, and I feel like our vocabulary has improved this week especially. I, I threw out the word epidural at one point. Two nights ago, you had the word uh, algorithm that you successfully yes. rhymed with. I feel yeah. like we're just getting up there. Like, we're we three are. syllable rhymes. The algorithm. Yeah. I rhymed. Yeah. I meant good. to tell you that afterwards. Algorithm was a good one. Thank you. So, I appreciate that. That's becoming a funds for me. It's just like, I barely know anything about this woman's job. What is the most obscure like terminology I can rhyme with on stage? It's, it's becoming fun. Yeah, now it's a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like... Uh, should we do it where I remember back in the day whose line would do a something kind of like that, but they would set up each other's rhymes. So it's like, it's like if I said algorithm and like in five seconds, you have to think of a rhyme for, I saw him once. Yeah. Uh, he, they set up a guy with extinguisher <laughs> and he just went, a dinga, 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 sure. <laughs> <laughs> just totally screwed. <laughs> yeah, man, it was fun. Uh, Front row girl was fine. She, it was funny because she, you could tell she was so intoxicated because you and Lucas had to deal with her. Yeah. And I was like, I'm actually, she seems so drunk that I'm, I'm pretty confident pretty soon into my show. She's not being an issue because she's going to just fall asleep. She and was like keeling over even when I was true. performing. She was a problem at the beginning. I said, I told her to be quiet. And then, um, I was getting per- her in my peripherals. I was literally getting her going <laughs> like, and her friend being Seriously. like, her friend was being, her friend was motioning like, hold it in, hold it in. She's like, Poof. and I was like, and I'm just struggling to like focus on my jokes. I'm like, if this girl hurls five feet from me, do I just, 
I mean, what? A, I'm like, hey, ever, everyone laugh at her. She just puked. Uh, or... And, I mean, she's been standing for 30% of the show, so if she pukes while standing, now you got ruined shoes. Yeah. That's why Tom doesn't want you wearing white socks. <laughs> yeah. Well, the girl's front row. I just run off stage like, help me, Tom, help me. He's like, you're the one wearing white shoes. <laughs> you're on your own, buddy. Been doing this 25 years. Never seen a guy perform in white never shoes. Seen that, never seen that once in my life. <laughs> Puke on the shoes. Seen it thousands of times. <laughs> never white shoes. Your fault. <laughs> Help. <laughs> uh, that was a good time. Yeah, you have needed Tom's help a couple times. When the, when the mic dies on you, it's a bummer. Yeah, we're learning. We're learning. It was uh, San Antonio. My, my wireless mic completely stopped working. Mid-song. Three right? or four times. Yeah. Mid-song even. And I like played off for a second, and then I started to get frazzled, and I was like, "What do I?" I started just dancing. Yeah. Um, did you? Where were we at? I think it was Denver. You have an. I'm on stage like 20 minutes. You're on there an hour. How'd the arm do? These were the heaviest microphones. I think they were. They made liquid gold out of them, and then made them solid again. These were the heaviest things I've ever felt in my life. I didn't. I didn't forearm it. workout. Really? You got you got yours going? Not while performing, but it's like when we were sound checking. I was like, oh, oh yeah. my gosh, these things are heavy. They were. I didn't know if it affected you. I notice I, I notice I go a little lefty with the mic sometimes. Yeah. Ambidextrous. Not to brag. Good for you. Are you right the whole time? I'm pretty right heavy. There's certain jokes I noticed that I, I will then cup the, like, while they're laughing, I then cup the mic with both hands. I don't know why I've started doing that. It just feels right. Someone after the show was like, you look kind of fidgety up there. Like, sometimes your hand's in your pocket, and sometimes it's just, like, out in the open. They said like, that to you? Yeah, I was like, well, what, the alternative is I just stand there like I'm a mannequin the whole time. <laughs> Do you want me to just not move? Mm. I, like, I don't know if fidgety is the right word. I think it's just, like, that's it's how also, you stand. It's also funny when people say stuff like to you. Great job, man. Pretty fidgety, though. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I think I've been doing this a while. Like, you just seem nervous. Like, no, it's sorry. I just, it's just the complexion. <laughs> I think it's rosy cheeks. Um, speaking of funny things, I think I kind of told you this story. Or maybe you're there. Guy comes up to me at the end of the Riverside show. Clearly, not a ton of social awareness right off the bat because I'm, I'm clearly talking to other people. Like out in the lobby, they wanted to meet me. We're taking pictures. He's like interrupts, like pushes his way through these women. What's up, bro? Goes to dap me up. What's up, man? Just wanted to say, nothing wrong with sloppy thirds. And I'm kind of looking at him, like truly not knowing exactly what this means. Trying to also gauge like how drunk is this guy? How much do I want to like even talk to him? I was like, what do you mean by that? He said, well, you know, it's just like there's got to be like a ranking, right? And uh, just want to say, nothing wrong with being third. You still did, still did a good job tonight, man. And I said, I mean, I was very composed. I was, yeah. I was like, hey, appreciate you coming out to the show, man. Hope you had a good time. All right, man. Yeah, like That was a good people, one. That was a new one. <laughs> yeah, what makes people think that's okay to say? Also, who's ever, it's like, hey, how was your, uh, how was the swim meet? It's like, well, my boy got sloppy thirds. Yeah, it doesn't even make sense. Like, well, he did what? <laughs> uh, he got third place. That alone is just very frustrating. And then <laughs> what a weird thing to say, man. People are so bizarre. Yeah. It was so like strange and just hilarious it's like yeah. this is not going to affect my confidence anyway well, this guy <laughs> yeah good i do not respect his opinion whatsoever because i tell you every show there's at least uh there's several people who go great job trey but i'm gonna be honest here for jake oh i know people like go, to make it a competition okay. so much well i think you know i so i'm supportive of the guy so <laughs> i don't like what'd you say <laughs> i should just do that some one time what excuse me talking like about, oh i just you talking about my, i thought it would be funny my 14 million dollar employee yeah Keep that. Keep his name out of your mouth. You think I pay millions to him to have you say that to me here? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I think people just can't help but make it a competition or make it like they just want to make. So you know, obviously Trey's the one with a lot of followers, but I thought you did fantastic. Like, yeah. all right, just like can <laughs> it we just evens out. You know, you just compliment both of us. Yeah. Like, oh, it makes me so uncomfortable. We noticed. Uh, we judged uh, Trey's. What? He's got a couple inches on you, but your jokes hit harder. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> it doesn't need to be a comparison. Just you can just compliment me without like taking anyone else down. Oh, oh, oh. sloppy thirds. Sloppy thirds. What a phrase! It doesn't even make sense within the realm of what so sloppy seconds means. That means you, like you're doing something for the second time. Were you freaking out of some some ex, some ex's new boyfriend or something? I was like, wait, but you saw on infamousbirthdays.com that I'm dating anyone, mm -hmm. so that doesn't make sense. This doesn't make yeah, okay. Let's get something straight. They check. What do you know? They checked with their sources. They fact yeah. check everything. I saw the website. 
you know, it's a strange thing to come up in the midst of four women and shout at me. There's nothing wrong with sloppy thirds. <laughs> like, don't listen to him. Don't uh, listen to him. He's joking. <laughs> Three of these four girls are hot. <laughs> I'll let you guys figure let it you out. Let figure it out. <laughs> Better than the photos. <laughs> Sir, I'll leave Tesla's us alone. in the shop. Did you even go to the show? <laughs> yeah, who are you? Reminds oh, another of, thing. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Another thing that happens pretty often is when I'm in the lobby afterwards, meeting people, saying hi. I also become the the ticket and box office just uh, customer service person for you. Oh. It's a big thing that boy do I love. I love answering really questions. Really, people come up to you. I'd say just once per night. Hey, Jake. And sometimes they're aware of it. Sometimes it's just like, Hey, I'm like, Hey, did you guys enjoy the show? I mean. Our tickets say VIP, but they won't let us in. I'm like, oh, okay. So I don't actually work for the box office. I was one of the performers tonight. Like now I get kind of sarcastic with them. Yeah. It's like, what a way to approach someone. That it's like funny. so sad. And it's like, yeah. hey, and, you know, just like put their problems on me. It's like, look, you're Are in a line of people to meet me. or what? I think what happens, one, they're either so drunk, they don't even know what's happening. Yeah. Two, um, they bought like that mid-level VIP yeah. and they don't understand. Right. Um, and three, just like truly most of the time, I don't understand. Like I am... <laughs> Yeah, it's like I've, the COVID protocol I didn't put thing. This together. I don't know anything about how this works. Like, we got a wristband, but they won't let us in. I'm like, I don't know. Look, I don't even have a badge, That's so funny. I don't know what the wristband means. Yeah. I, they, I they, hard let, they hardly <laughs> let me see Trey. <laughs> Look, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that happens like probably once a night. It's, oh, just, yeah. it's just kind of funny. Yep. That's that'll happen. Do you have people come up like, can you get us back there? Yep. Denver. These women were pretty. Like, like no. I met them once, took pictures with them. They go back in line again. They wait like, hey, I know you can get us back to see Trey, can you? And I said, no, I can't for probably about four or five different reasons. They're like, what? <laughs> four or five? And I was like, yeah. Sloppy fourth. <laughs> Look, somebody's got to be fourth, yeah, I right? I can't for a number of reasons. You didn't pay for it. Wouldn't be fair to everyone who did pay for it. Um, they won't let a, me back there. Yeah, I'm not even allowed. He's and married. what does it look like if I am bringing women backstage? They're like, why would that look bad? Hey, there's Katie. That's Trey's wife. Wave to Katie. Trey! <laughs> got your women for you. I got them. <laughs> Seattle eights, <laughs> Seattle eights, Trey. You, just like you said. <laughs> yeah, no, I checked out their uh, their Whole Foods. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Good melons. <laughs> Amazon joke, right? For anyone yeah. else who's listening. Uh. Yeah. Don't, Katie. She's fine. Don't mind her. She's fine. She's tall. Oh, that is so funny. I had a I had a kind of a hilarious like a what was that in my meet and greet <laughs> where. Um, I'd say about once a show, I have a super fan who, um, but I, what's awesome about our fans, I think they're so normal and nice. They're very normal. There's always, very there's always at least, um, one who's like, kind of the classic, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm meeting this guy. I can freaking out and freaking out. I can't believe it. You know, you're like, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like sweet. It's like, you know, it's all good. Most people are just like, what's up? You know, we're gonna, we're excited for the show. My wife loves you. And then every now and then I have a rare super f fan who's like 49. And like their kids are our age with her, and like, what's up, dude? It's like, hey, we like your videos, but our mom is like, uh, they're almost like, there's something wrong with her. Mom <laughs> or something. She's standing there just smiling at me. She's like, you are so handsome. <laughs> I'm like, okay, uh, these are your children. I am. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've had that in the, front of the kids. Yeah, that's an interesting dynamic. That happens uh, every once in a blue moon, and this time they did it. And the guy goes, I mean, I think the only she loves two men in this country. It's you and Trump. <laughs> Like in front of so many people, and I was like, oh, "Okay, all right, you know, let's just." Uh, Why don't we get a picture? Let's just get that's a photo. My line. I just go, "Let's get a photo." <laughs> yeah, let's get a photo. That's definitely my line. I don't want to little are... dive into that all that much. <laughs> things are getting a little weird. I literally heard someone back there be like, "Huh?" You know, it's like, <laughs> "Let's let's not discuss this right now." <laughs> I thought it was so funny and random. I was like, "Okay." Why don't we get a pic? She's that like, "High pitch." Half of her life mission's complete, man. <laughs> Drake Kennedy and Donald J. Trump. <laughs> Those are the two. Oh man! Both both good on Facebook <laughs> in their own <laughs> way. Uh, both have an uh, audience. So funny. That is a good one. Yeah. Had anyone propose in a Bills hoodie recently? Did you have a proposal? No, I didn't. Didn't you have that? That I had one proposal. Yeah. yeah. No, I haven't had any proposals. Yeah. I mean, you have drunk women. It's always the the people our own age are always respectful mm -hmm. for the most part. It's always like. A mom in her 50s like can i get a picture i'm like yeah absolutely and then she starts like hiking her leg up on me and i say why don't we just take it in a normal way <laughs> yeah get very a little, obscure i had i truly had a another middle-aged woman just kind of do the classic like arm around take a photo i mean she went 
just straight right butt cheek. Um, no. Yeah, just subtle, subtle. I was like, oh, we, you know, we left it be, but my cheeks have stayed deflowered so far. Okay. <laughs> I think I said that right. Oh. <laughs> anyway, people uh, are great. Ninety-five percent of people are pretty, pretty great, pretty are. pleasant. We appreciate it. It's just and, more fun uh, for the podcast to talk about the ones that aren't. Yeah. We, uh, oh, yeah. Oh. I, sorry, one other strange thing. I think it was Sacramento or something like that. Riverside, maybe. Girl's like, huge fan. I got, I have one question and I'll get out of your way. What is your favorite Do Less God Bless episode? And I was like, really? That's like your one question? I was like, we haven't filmed that podcast in like over a year. She's like, yeah. What's your favorite episode? And I was like, I mean, <laughs> first of all, no one's ever asked me that. Second of all, like, Train, I've done probably 50 episodes since that. I have my own other podcast. Like, I, she's like, which one is it? And I yeah. go, 14. <laughs> and she goes, really? And just like, not getting... Really? 14 was not a good one. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm just trying to get, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying something. I don't really... know what I said on that last week. <laughs> yeah. That was kind of a fun question. Hey, favorite video you made 2017. Go. Or I told you, I had someone uh, be like, they're like, dude, bring back the Do Less Guest podcast or Do Less God Bless podcast. So I was like, uh, I mean, we stopped that and brought Jake on Correct Opinions. It's the exact same similar. Thing. Yeah, um, that's good. People are listening. You never know what they're listening to, but grateful they're listening. And that's an episode. This is Just an like episode that. of a podcast. Uh, as always, give us some good reviews. Share, show some love, and thanks for listening, Rectes. See you on the. Get your tickets. We're coming to all new places next year. We'll see you then. Adios. Correct opinions.